Welcome to Abraham Lincoln, The Image. These images span from 1857 to 1870 and illustrate how Lincoln was viewed by the people of his time and how he has been remembered since. During Lincoln's time, engravings and lithographs of leaders were widely published, marketed, collected, and displayed in family parlors around the nation. Abraham Lincoln and image making in America achieved popularity together. Graphic artists had introduced, embellished, and transformed the Lincoln image. The gallery is laid out in chronological order from his senatorial and presidential campaigns to his death. You will see various photographs and prints used for Lincoln's campaign throughout the country, as well as campaign stationery, a lapel ribbon, and buttons, and even a songbook with pro-Lincoln lyrics adapted to familiar tunes. Printmakers churned out both pro- and anti-Lincoln graphics, and it became clear that their motive was profit, not politics. Not all of the election campaign prints were designed to advocate for the candidates. Popular formal portraits hung on parlor walls in private homes. Lincoln's face seemed to reveal strength, determination, and native wisdom. The day Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, he said, If my name ever goes down in history, it will be for this act. Printmakers flooded the market with images of the president as the great emancipator. The assassination of President Lincoln was perhaps the most momentous news event of the 19th century. America's printmakers profited by his death. The assassin John Wilkes Booth instantly emerged as a villain of satanic proportions, shown as a coward receiving instructions and inspiration from the devil himself. In April 1865, Graphic depictions of the President's murder and dying moments were rushed to the public within days of the event. No photograph of the entire Lincoln family was ever taken. However, with the demand by his admirers, there were countless Lincoln family prints published after his death. Washington and Lincoln were depicted as the father and the savior of our country. Admirers decorated their homes with images of an American afterworld in which its two heroes reigned as gods. The backwoods candidate for president had now become an American saint. Abraham Lincoln, the image, is compiled from the Lincoln Financial Foundation collection. This is one of the largest collections of such graphics in the nation. The exhibition is on tour from the Indiana State Museum. One of the things I was surprised about in the exhibit was the amount of satire in some of the cartoons. I um, found that to be quite interesting and I was also surprised at how he is portrayed. Sometimes, although he's larger than life and he's over six feet tall, he's oftentimes portrayed the same height and size as other people, which I find very interesting, I guess in an attempt to humanize him. I enjoyed seeing all the pictures of him. He looks a lot better than I thought he did. It was cool to see how they engraved and every how they do the engraving and everything. I've always been an admirer of uh, Abraham Lincoln, a student of the Civil War, so it was interesting to see all this stuff and remember some of the things I learned from history. Learn a few new things also. I didn't know they had so many pets in the White House, and uh, what else? Didn't know what he called his sons. We enjoyed coming to see some more of history and learn a little more about Abraham Lincoln and actual, see actual photographs and um, pictures and prints that were published at the time that he was alive and exposing our children to that. It was a neat opportunity. What was your favorite part of the exhibit? Uh, um, uh, hmm. um, the questions. The computer it was questions. a computer quiz answering those questions. Oh. That was your favorite part? Okay. Mm -hmm. And what about you? Looking at the pictures. 